Hello, I'm Wayne Allen Root with this week's video commentary for Personal Liberty Digest and PersonalLiberty.com. This commentary is about my recent speech to Harvard University. It is entitled, What I Said About Capitalism in My Speech at Harvard. As a lifelong capitalist, evangelist, serial entrepreneur, and what I call a Reagan libertarian, I was asked to deliver a lecture about the virtues of capitalism, entrepreneurship, and fiscal conservatism at Harvard University. I was unsure if my message and personal story would be welcomed or even understood, and I'm thrilled to report that even at the world's greatest institution of learning and liberalism, capitalism and entrepreneurship are alive, well, and still celebrated. Students actually reported my speech changed the direction of their lives. Many of them now want to be entrepreneurs, even at Harvard. The lesson is that if capitalism and entrepreneurship are presented with enthusiasm, passion, energy, and honest, unique, colorful, personal stories, they will be accepted and celebrated anywhere in the world, even the intellectual liberal halls of Harvard. The key is to counter President Obama's message, who was speaking at a university in Florida about three weeks ago, at the exact same time I was speaking at Harvard, described capitalism as, and I quote, a broken down theory and blamed it for the current economic problems. Free market libertarians and conservatives need to courageously enter the lion's den and speak at universities with the exact opposite message. We need to be evangelists. We need to recruit and sell our vision to the students. We need to explain how only capitalism gives young people the opportunity to change their lives and live their dreams. Only capitalism lifts people from poverty or the middle class to the life of their dreams. Only capitalism creates true hope and opportunity. Only capitalism motivates the creators and producers of this world to make the impossible possible. Capitalism created the cure for polio, and capitalism will someday cure cancer and AIDS. Capitalism created desktop computers, the internet, smartphones, iTunes, iPads, Skype, Facebook, Twitter, texting, and direct TV, all the things young people love, the things that shape our world, weren't created in the Soviet Union or the old People's Republic of China or Cuba. They weren't created by government. They were created by entrepreneurs hoping to change the world and get, get rich while doing it. I almost said get rich quick, but just get rich or get rich quick. The key is to tell our personal stories. Obama and those who hate capitalism don't have those stories. They've never created anything with their work ethic, creativity, smarts, all while risking their own money. They've never created jobs, donated millions to charity, or dramatically changed lives with their innovations, products, or payrolls. All the Obamas of the world know about is taking tax dollars from the job creators and financial risk takers and redistributing it as bribes to their voters. Obama's failed policies have proven he has about the same level of knowledge about economics and capitalism and entrepreneurship as I have of ballet, which is zero. I spoke to hundreds of students at Professor Michael Parsons' class, one of the largest at Harvard, about the exciting ups and downs of my career. I spoke about the relentless battles to build my businesses. I spoke about the failures and lows I've experienced, as well as the amazing highs and the lessons I learned that enabled me to turn lemons into lemonade. I told him about the remarkable results against all odds I've achieved as an entrepreneur and dreamer. I taught him it was all made possible by capitalism, as Don King would say, only in America. I told him about the leap of faith required of entrepreneurs to believe in and pursue your dreams against the negativity of critics, cynics, and naysayers. I told him about the mental, physical, and spiritual strength required to survive the rejections, the disappointments, and the challenges. I told him about the remarkable rewards achieved when you turn your dreams to reality. I told him how entrepreneurs don't need alcohol or drugs. We get high on life. I taught them success requires you be relentless. You must never stop believing in you, your dreams, or your talents. You must never stop fighting like a cornered wolverine. You must never lose faith in God, country, or yourself. I told the Harvard students to find their passion because passion unleashes purpose and enthusiasm. I told them to attack each day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. That's what I do every single day. I told them to say yes to every single request made of them in the business world because that's how you make yourself irreplaceable even during the worst economy of our times. And that's the philosophy of my life. Say yes to every request. Then I asked the Harvard students to raise their hands if they agreed that I had energy, enthusiasm, and passion. All of them raised their hands with big smiles and loud laughs. Yeah, they all agreed. That Wayne Root guy, he has enthusiasm. Then I asked them to compare my energy and enthusiasm with an employee of the Department of Motor Vehicles. The auditorium went wild. 
Smiles, laughing, sparkles in their eyes, pandemonium, everyone got it. With this example, simple example, even college students at Harvard clearly understood the difference between entrepreneurs and government employees. Everyone gets it. No matter where I speak, they get it. That's the reason government fails at everything it does. That's the reason our economy is in shambles and there are no new jobs. The wrong people are in charge of the economy. The solution is simple. Only the private sector can truly create jobs. Only the heroic flyboys of the business world, the guys and gals with the massive levels of energy, enthusiasm, and confidence can turn around the U.S. economy. That's small business. Entrepreneurs and their small businesses create 75% of all new jobs. They are the heroes, and they've got to be appreciated, motivated, and rewarded, not punished as they are under Obama. Those with enthusiasm, energy, and can-do spirit go into business, and those without those talents often go into government. I have no problem with either kind of person. There are heroes in both groups, but you can't let the people without the energy, the enthusiasm, the relentlessness, the can-do spirit make the rules for the economy just as you shouldn't ask me to run the ballet. Government can't save us. Government can only make things worse. We're currently letting the wrong people run the economy, create the rules, and tax the motivation and inspiration right out of our entrepreneurial heroes. They are strangling hope, ruining ambition, dampening enthusiasm, and killing the American dream. Obama's killing so many jobs, he should be at the top of the FBI's most wanted list. Even at Harvard, many students now understand this. If only I could teach it to Obama. I'm Wayne Allen Root for PersonalLiberty.com. See you next week. Same place, same time, right here. God bless.